Hello, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing amazing today. We're going to do message cards only and this is for Divine Feminine. So let's hop into it. See what messages Spirit wants you to hear today. Go ahead and drop a like and a subscribe if you do find this resonates. And thank you so much for stopping by. So we're going to start with message cards only and then we're going to do some tarot. So you could be a nurse. If not, you could have been debating recently stepping into a calling in the medical field in some way. This could really be a message for you. Someone is currently thinking about how they think you're absolutely perfect for them. So if you've recently been in a new relationship or had a new connection, wow, I feel like for some of you, this is someone who hasn't come forward and revealed the extent of their feelings yet. It says, I've been hiding my feelings for you. Next card out, we've got you inspire me to be a better person every day. Thank you for that. So whoever you're dealing with, this person is truly inspired by the way that you selflessly give to others. This could also be why spirit saying if you've been debating a career change, being in the medical field because you have so much unconditional love to give towards others in such an empathic nature might be an amazing career future for you says I love you so much so someone you're dealing with or like I said who hasn't come forward yet to let you know divine feminine they're completely in love with you next card says I had a dream about you recently do you ever dream of me so for some of you you could have just dreamt of this person they could be coming through in your dreams and if it's someone like random you just recently had a dream about that's because this person wants you to be aware of their energy and the fact is that they're thinking about you always tattoos so this person could have a lot of tattoos and they could be in the fashion industry or makeup artist and stylist. That could also be for you guys as well. If you resonate with either of those, this message is definitely for you, Divine Feminine. I feel like for some of you, you're trying to do a career switch up and Spirit's saying you would be amazing in any of these fields. Now, if you're someone who is creative, possibly even becoming a tattoo artist, Maybe something you've always dreamed of, but never took in the leap forward and doing spirits saying there's a message there for you. So it looks like a beautiful reading here. It looks like someone's really inspired by who you are and spirit wants you to be more inspired by yourself. You could be feeling in a lack mindset, a lack of passion or just a lack of appreciation from others around you. Maybe feeling a bit isolated these days, feeling like you're really just like pondering what it is that you want out of life trying to make sure you make all the right moves and that you don't make something that's a wrong move for in the future. Let me just start by telling you guys, there are no wrong moves. Everyone has their own destined path. And you know, it's all part of the growth and the lessons that lead us to the beautiful life we wanna live. So trust the journey. Ten of Swords there. You could definitely be either a fire sign or an air sign, or this could be who is kind of keeping an eye on you and who is inspired by you. We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the air energy. And with the wand energy, we've got Aries, Leo, and Sag. So like I said, this person that's watching you is definitely one of those signs. This person thinks you're absolutely beautiful. They could have a deep love for you already, whether or not they've expressed this or not to you. And it's kind of beautiful to see because Divine Feminine, there's been some hectic energy lately. Wow, the Hierophant. So for some of you, this person sees marriage with you. They see that you would be a very long-term stable partner, someone that they want to commit to for the long term. They don't want just like a one-night stand or, you know, a couple date ting. This person really sees a future with you. So this may come as quite a shock as well if you're kind of just getting to know this person and who they are. They see you as someone they want to build with, they want to have a family with, and also they really see you as someone who's very family-oriented. Now they see at the moment you feel like your finances are kind of funny. So this is what you're working on. This could possibly be why you're trying to do this whole career switch up as well. Just know that you need to like let, put less pressure on it. I'm not saying don't go out and work hard. Absolutely. But the more you kind of hold on tight to money and the feeling of a lack mindset, that's how you manifest that in, right? So once you let go and let the universe be aware of your intentions, to just be successful, to, you know, feel financially abundant and also feel more passionate about your life. That's when that is going to come in with it. Now, for some of you, you're in a career field right now that you do not have passion for, but it brings in the finances. And this is what Spirit's saying where you're going wrong. Because in our life purpose, what makes us truly passionate about life 
what makes us feel mostly resonated and connected to others and like we're inspiring others that's what's going to bring in the most funds for you guys so just something to be aware of as you're considering this possible career change knight of cups beautiful so you could definitely be dealing with someone who's very highly emotional about you this person could be younger than you and look at that definitely feel like this person you're dealing with has tattoos since we've got tattoos and tattoos here in the picture definitely a double confirmation for some of you guys out there this person could be a bit younger than you they could have dark hair they could be very tall and for others of you this person definitely is someone who likes to wear more like streetwear they could be really into wearing like converse or vans kind of like a skater is what i'm feeling like so wow you guys could be dealing with oh we had a flip over there could be dealing with um someone who is more like i would say just like streetwear like open to more modern clothes but kind of like likes to keep it casual as well so if you know someone who definitely rocks a lot of tees and a lot of pairs of converse this is the person who's into you specifically eight of swords so there you are feeling in this mental entrapment because you really want to make sure whatever decision you make next when it comes to your career is the right move for you but like i said all steps we take is what leads us to our final you know life purpose and path and for many of us something to note as well is you're gonna have more than one stable career in your life for some of you what spirit wants you to realize is stop putting all the focus on one thing being successful and maybe for some of you it may be becoming an entrepreneur or having multiple streams of income that's really going to serve your needs best at this time we're going to get a different deck here and just see if we can get a few more cards to clarify so please tell me spirit about this new person that's watching so devil in reverse this person could have a slight obsession with you so just to be aware of um spirit saying at this moment in time they may be letting their thoughts of you consume them could also be a capricorn you're dealing with with the devil energy there you will definitely know if you have a capricorn that's into you because capricorns typically are all about work and they're all about their stability but once they're into someone it's like they're hooked on them so if you know that particularly there's someone who keeps trying to ask you out and normally there are someone who is too focused on work they have kind of let go of a past relationship as well here with the three of cups so either you or them have recently become single and this person is completely enthralled by you and your energy. Now, I feel like for some of you as well with the Three of Cups, this person is going to want to take you out. They could have possibly met you at a social outing or gathering with others. And this person sees you as a really good time. Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so they don't know how to come forward and let you know the extent of their passions. They feel really stuck when it comes to it. And this is what this person's being guided to do is to kind of take it more lax woo, and go slow because if they rush this relationship it might scare you off collective three of pentacles see there you are focused on your finances and this person kind of just feeling like they don't know how to proceed forward with you at this time now queen of wands and we had one that flipped over on the knight of cups here seven of swords so definitely could be an air sign we've got a lot of air energy on the board but like I said, I get this MO that this person is someone who's normally very hardworking and focused on their career. But when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, you throw them for a loop. You make them feel beyond passionate because you have this magnetizing energy about yourself. They're super attracted to you physically and sexually. And if you two haven't been intimate yet, it's often something that they fantasize about. I feel like some of you have been celibate if you recently went through a breakup. And for others of you, it was a personal choice, possibly not finding that like meaningless dating or casual dating may not be your thing. You're more of the long-term stable relationship type. And you could just be at that point in your life too, where you're looking for a husband or a wife. You're not looking for someone just to have fun with and casually date. You want the real deal. And so this person may know this about you already. And this is where they're kind of uh, like pausing how do they come in properly and really give you the offer that they know you a deserve and b one that you're going to be willing to accept because this person knows if they try to put you in any kind of casual dating or a third party situationship you're absolutely going to run for the hills so this person if they have anyone that's interested in them in the past 
they're trying to get these people away from them it's what i'm hearing from spirit they're clearing them all out so that they can make room for you divine feminine and give you the offer that they know that you deserve this person is very much so hardworking, dedicated to building a relationship with you and they just may not have let you know the extent of their feelings yet for some of you this person either works at a bar or they like run a bar if that makes sense I feel the sense that they're someone who's very connected to fitness. They're very hands-on. And most importantly, they see you as the opposite of them. You could be someone who's more of a homebody, hardworking as well, but someone who's more of an introvert, whereas this person is a complete extrovert. Now, this person wants to find the perfect way to get you to come out of your shell, to maybe take a pedal break on working so much and give them an opportunity because they know once they really convey the extent of their feelings and for some of you this is a deep love they feel like they're going to be able to make this relationship really work with you in the meantime though this person's still really up in their head no idea how they're going to communicate these feelings to you or express the depths of their emotions so really interesting energy to be in and it feels like the more that you focus on work and pull away from this person or don't give them the time of day, the more intrigued and interested in you they are. And they could feel kind of frustrated because if they're growing this like slight obsession for you, the more you're pulling back, the more they're trying to reel you in. So just be aware that this person could have a little bit of low vibing tendencies, possibly possessive or jealous traits about them. Spirit's going to really make you aware and see the flags right away, whether they're green or red. But like I said, this person sees a long-term potential with you. They aren't someone who's going to want to date around once they convey the depths and express how much they love you. So if anything, it's really just about going with the flow, maybe being more observant to who you know is interested in you or who's trying to capture your attention at this time. And if it's someone you're not interested in back, Spirit almost wants you to be clear with them. Don't lead them on or kind of make them feel that it's more than it's going to be because the more you pull back, if you're not interested in this person, the more they're interested in you and growing this slight obsession over you and your energy collective. They see you as someone very loving and giving and nurturing and they also find you to be really funny, right? And they find you to be super hardworking. It's like you have all the qualities that they're looking for in a long-term marriage partner. And even though they know you're looking for marriage, just make sure this is the person that you would see that future with because it looks like they're not going to stop pursuing you until they have an answer from you. So I really hope this could resonate with you guys. You'll definitely know who this energy is around you because there's someone who could constantly try to take you out, show up at places you're at with friends, or they could constantly message you or say you have a platform or social media. There's someone who constantly pays you attention on those types of things. So like commenting your pictures or expressing how attractive you are. And for others of you, constantly watching your stories or your feed. It's like this person always sees if you post something new or say if you post a new picture, they will be one of the ones to always comment right away. Or if not, be in that inbox of yours telling you how beautiful you look or how handsome you are, right? So just be aware, Divine Feminine. If this isn't the kind of person that you're interested in pursuing, Spirit says just to be open and honest with them because they've been hiding the depths of their emotions for you. But overall, because it's such a deep love, you definitely have somewhat of a clue who this person is to you. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that could resonate. Have an amazing day and until next time.